We should take a walk someday. Dream about what we could have been. But I don't. Wanna... Hey guys, it's Taylor. So today I don't have an excuse of why I haven't actually gotten down and filmed a video. I literally have been so lazy. I've done nothing. I actually did get my eyebrows waxed since the last time I filmed, so it's it's all good. But for real, I honestly don't have an excuse, and I know I'm being so lazy and everything. I did film the TMI tag, but let's just put it this way, it didn't work out. <laughs> so I don't know what to do, and I'm like scrolling through all my videos that I've done in the past couple months. And, I mean, I don't know. Okay, when I started this video, I honestly had no idea what I was going to film, but now I do, and I have a clear idea what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a February favorites, even though it is so late. I never really watch favorites videos, and I haven't for a really long time, but I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I should right now. I feel so, why the heck not? First off, which I'm actually wearing right now is my little lush. I always like really rosy cheeks. <gasps> But I've really been liking the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer duo, and I honestly, the, the bronzer's just, eh, it's okay, I like my hula the best, and it's just too dark for my skin tone, to be honest, so I really don't appreciate it, but I think the blush goes really good with my skin tone, and so I'm just like, yes. I just think it matches my skin tone really nicely, and I think it really makes my face look fair almost and I like my face better fair than when it's like tan. I think it helps pair my eyes and my skin together. I think it kind of like just makes my face kind of come together. That sounds really weird. Can a blush do that? I don't know. I just said it did. The next thing I've been liking is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Smooth Souffle in um 842 Cherubic. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it just looks like this. It's just like, it's like really, it's almost like a, how do you describe this? It's like, it's like whipped cream, but like a thicker consistency. And you have to be really careful because it's so pigmented. The next thing I've been liking is the very sexy um, mosaic bronzer Gild Gilded. I think that's how you say it from Victoria's Secret. I have no idea when I got this. This is a present. And I got it a couple years ago. I've been using it for a while, but I've been using it on and off. And just recently started using it again. And I feel like this bronzer the best. Oops, I almost dropped it. Because I think that it goes with my face the best. Like, it's not too dark and it's not too light. I think it, like, well, you can't have a light bronzer. I think it's just, like, not too dark. I think it goes with my face very well. And it just, it blends and covers and just, like, perfectly. The next thing is, I can't believe I'm saying this because I think in one of my last videos it was like this or that beauty tag. So one of my somewhat current videos, and one of my somewhat current videos, um, I mentioned not wearing foundation. And I've actually kind of switched out of that kind of phase just because it covers so much better. Because I have so much scarring from acne on my face. I just, I need foundation. Not because I have so much acne because I don't think, I honestly just use concealer when I have a ton of acne because it's like still above it's not gonna matter but like when I want my face to be perfected and right now you know you guys can't tell it looks like I have a somewhat clear face <laughs> it looks like my face is pretty clear I mean that's what I want to have to happen and I know in my past videos like especially when in my acne one when I was wearing no makeup it was like you know look at that a foundation line whoa that looks so weird but I just really like that kind of finished kind of look and I didn't want to wear that much makeup before but now I'm kind of getting into a little more makeup stage so I definitely have been liking to wear foundation more and this one just works really well the only thing I don't like and it's supposed to be oil control too it's the clean oil control anti loosens um in number 525 ba buff beige from covergirl this just it works for me just one thing about this that I don't like and I need to find a different foundation for this reason is it does have talc in it so that it helps promote like, promote acne meaning it, that it will give you acne if you use it or you're more likely to get acne so I don't recommend it to people just because I don't want you guys getting acne don't I don't want a product that I recommend in giving you acne so please don't use this honestly it's probably bad that I'm using it but you know 
I love you guys enough to tell you not to use something that's gonna give you acne. I know it's in my favorites, but that's just, I don't want you guys using it and getting acne because I love it, but I don't want you getting acne. I wasted a minute of your time because you're not gonna be able to, well, you can buy it now, but I wouldn't recommend it. So the next thing I've been using for my concealer after my foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer, and this is in free, light medium. It just looks like this. It's in a little tube, and then it's got a little applicator. It looks really dark, I know, but it, I'm wearing it right now, so if that helps reassure you, I don't know what else should. <laughs> but I've really been liking this because it just stays and it's very, like, it just covers well my concealer, my acne, my pimples, and it's all my scar, and it just is, like, so dark it won't cover with the foundation. So, I really like it. Next thing I have been using is the Instant Age Rewind, um... Trying to read it in Spanish it really doesn't work that well. Please don't do it. The Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. And of course, it's just like a little sponge. Mitchiger thing. Look at it all in my hand there. You can see it now. Um, and I was using another dark circle eraser. And of course, I have like the worst dark circles ever. And you can probably tell because. Hello, dark circles. It just helps them be a little more like covered, so I really like those. I also have been using the It's Potent Eye Cream from Benefit because my eyes, like I said before, they're just so dark and they're just, like they don't get oily, they don't have any other problems, just like I have such bad dark circles. My eyes themselves just look sleepy all the time. And with this little guy, I can just, you know, take care of all that. It just magically disappears. Just kidding, no it doesn't. It, do it looks better though, it does really look better been loving this mascara is the voluminous million lashes mascara and it's in color 365 i think it's like black is black but i have no idea what company this is it's like maybelline or l'oreal or something like that i don't think it's cover girl but yeah it just looks like this and it's like it just makes my lashes so long and just long <laughs> the next thing i've been liking is something i mentioned in my christmas haul and it's the ralph lauren perfume in one so it just looks like this got a nice little one on it. Let me turn around, it's got a little pole player on it. I really need to stop doing accents. It smells just so good and I used to use this when I want to smell just like fresh. When I'm like, ew, I smell grungy, I smell disgusting, like, can I just have, instead of trying to like smell sweet, I feel like smelling sweet for girls is like putting, like Axe and Old Spice for guys, it's like, it doesn't work. So I feel like this isn't like, it's not like, good smelling but it's not like bad smelling either it's just like a fresh scent so i got this for christmas guys and i don't know how you can see that but yeah i kind of used half of it already the next thing i've been liking is um lotion and it's the the body shop body butter and clementine it just looks like this and if you twist the lid off I just love the Body Shop because it gives such like organic smells and all their stuff just works really, really, really well. Two of these were five bucks and that was like such a good deal for them. So I was like, yes, I'm going to get them. And I've been using lotion on my legs and my hands and everything lately. And it just, their lotion just is so good. It just smells amazing and I just love it. Another one of my favorites is my background. My background, I just think it's hilarious. So just wanted to mention that. Cue the music. So LOL has just been like my go-to movie for the past month, so this song has been stuck in my head on repeat for probably like three weeks, maybe. It's always been like one of my favorite songs, but I've never like bought it, bought it? I've never bought it or anything, just like, it just gets to me, I'm just like, yes, yes bae, yes. What am I doing? Okay, anyways, so that was one of my favorite songs, um, Heart on Fire, LOL version by Jonathan Clay.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more favorites video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.